It's your Bubbyzy back at it again. Today we're going to be looking at some absolutely beautiful cards from the upcoming Pokemon set, Terrastal Festival, set to release December 6th, probably by the time you've seen this. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful stuff here. Let's go ahead and look over some of these cards. I've already shown some of these cards, but these are higher quality images, much more HD images here. So I just want to look at them again. Here we have the Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. Beautiful little SAR. Absolutely stunning. Look at this mask. Look at how it shines. Got that teal mask looking just, just amazing. Uh, I really can't wait to see these cards in person. I know that they're going to be textured and it's going to look absolutely stunning. And I just can't wait. I did order mine already, so I'm ready to crack some of this open on the channel as soon as it comes in. Absolutely. We got that heat here. Next up, ooh, what do we got here? Flareon, looking absolutely stunning. Look at this Flareon. I mean, sheesh. Uh, I think this is adorable. The, the, the artwork is adorable. The face on this little critter is just adorable. And I love the crown, the way they did the crown in this artwork. And there's like this blazing sort of ring around around the whole art I mean just lovely it looks so cool and there's flames flames just spouting all over dude and we got these little glimmers got the glimmers out here Woo -wee. this thing is cool I just love this this is gonna look so beautiful maybe I'll pull one let's just cross our fingers the next image out here is uh, pretty blurry but it is an image of Celeridge looking pretty nice um, I love I love the use of pinks and purples in this artwork. Usually pinks and purples shine really nice in the hollow. So hopefully this is a really nice looking card in real life. I just can't wait. Maybe to bust into this. Got that crown, you know, absolutely terrestrialized, crowned up. Ooh, next up we got a pretty poor image, another pretty poor image of Vaporeon. Uh, granted, it does look a lot better than the last one I was showing. Um, in this image, you can see more of like the stained glass window effect um, behind the Vaporeon. And again, you can see like the stained glass sort of terrestrialized look directly on the Vaporeon. Just a beautiful card. I love this artwork. Anyone that loves uh, the Evolutions, you know, obviously they're going to be chasing after, after these beautiful cards. I myself, I don't know which one I love the most. I really don't. Oh, man. Speaking of, speaking of love, oh man, I think this might be one of the contenders. Glaceon, oh lord. Look, can we just look at this Glaceon? Lord have mercy. Glaceon EX looking just terrestrial, baby. Look at this thing shining, glimmering, got the, got the crowned up, you know what I mean? Crown's looking super cool. Everything looks really clean on this card. Here we go, we got the Palafin hero here. We got the hero himself, Palafin EX. This card, I mean, this thing's looking crazy. It reminds me of One Punch Man. I don't know, I just, I see a lot of fists. I think One Punch Man. This looks super cool. Who did this? Shout out the illustrator here, Tetsuo Hara, just absolutely going off on this artwork. He didn't have to go so hard, but he went in. He absolutely went in here on the Palafin, and I, 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 I would not mind cracking one of these bad boys. Oh man, look at that. Even got like a pink, pinkish purple fist coming right at you, dude. Pretty cool stuff. I think this is pretty cool. Speaking of absolutely cool stuff, we got our boy Jolteon EX. Just look at this critter. Just the, the smile on this thing's face. I love that it's like all like elongated, like it's in mid stride, like jumping or running. Super cool. It's on this like lightning, I don't know, track maybe? Some sort of sprinting field who knows but it's crowned up looking cool i love this the terrestrialized look on this jolteon you know and it's got the little sprinkles got the little stardust got the little got the little glimmers all around Ooh wee, just looking cute i cannot wait hopefully praying that we crack into one of these bad boys next up we got iron hands ex this is super cool um I just love this artwork. We got like this gemstone cavern mixed with these, I don't know, crazy, I don't know, maybe this is clouds? It's hard to say. This could also be just gemstone formations. Either way, this dude's taking off, taking flight, blasting off. This is super cool. I love the use of blues, purples, and pinks. I am a sucker for purples and pinks on a card, and this has it all. This has it all. 
I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is beautiful. Oh, man. Speaking of. Oh, Lord. Look at this. Sylveon, baby. Sylveon EX looking absolutely stunning. Oh, man. Just look at this. I don't normally fall for this card, but this is... Look at this. Look at the eyes. Look at that little mouth. Oh, look at that little precious thing. Oh. I mean, it's just, it's adorable. It's crowned up, looking cool. This artwork is just amazing. Kona Nitanda, this is super. Mm -mm -mm. It's got the little bows. Oh, man, got the ribbons, got the flowers, got the glimmers. It's got it all. It's positioned to be one of the top contenders for the chase. I do think so. Ooh, baby, Iron Valiant. Very, very clean Iron Valiant. Again, more pinks, more purples. I'm loving the use of greens. I love this fissure on the ground, splitting the earth. This, this is a cool card. This is really cool. Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think so far? Next up, Iron Crown. We got Iron Crown. Basically, Iron Crown sitting on maybe the edge of some water. We got the moon in the background. A little starry night, like a little starry night. I love the texture on the moon. I'm loving the texture overall. This is, again, reminding me of like pane glass windows. Who is excited? Who else is excited for Terrastal Festival? Let me know down in the comments. Ooh, next up, we got Sandy Shocks EX. A sandy little boy. This dude's on it. He's on some stuff. He's looking clean. I love how they did him here. Just uh, probably in a cave, maybe wandering in a, in a desert. This could be a little desert scene or maybe in a cave. I, I love this. Could be right outside of a jungle. Hard to say. But I like this card. I love Sandy Shocks. I love this artwork. I like how it's drawn. Something about it just, I don't know. It speaks to me. It speaks to my my primal self. Baby, baby, next up we got Roaring Moon EX. Absolutely stunning. Speaking of primal, speaking of hand-drawn, this thing looks super cool. Uh, you know, it's like an ancient drawing, like an ancient mural depicting our boy, Roaring Moon. This thing is clean. Oh, man, I just love the way they did this. You got the clouds with the storm. You got the lightning striking right out of the clouds, dude. Like celestial bodies, stars all in the sky, dude. Dude. Shinji kind of absolutely went in on this car. Shout out Shinji for such an immaculate piece. Next up, baby, we got some gold dingo, dude. Look at this golden guy riding his board through the city, dropping coins on everyone below, dude. What a cool dude. I love this. This artwork is super cool. The transition in the sky from the white to the blue here with like the little circles, stippling as they call it. Yo, mm, clean, absolutely clean. Gold coins showering the scene. How can you not like this card? Super cool stuff. Goldingo EX, what a cool guy, dude. What a cool guy. Next up, we got Dragapult EX. Very cool stuff. I love the terrestrialization on this card. Just super stunning. We got the purples. We got the pinks. Got a little bit of greens in there as well. I think this may be another top contender for the chase for the top card in this set. I don't know if it's going to come in number one. I don't know if it's going to come in number one, but we'll see. Next up, we got Raging Bolt EX looking super, super cool. I just love this art. I love everything about this. The art, the design. Just how it embodies the full image with the storm up here, dude. You got the tree, like the huge bonsai in the background. Uninori went off on this piece. Oh, Eevee. We got a little Eevee. Of course, you know, you can't have this set without an Eevee EX. And here we are. We, here we have him. Look at this little guy. Crowned up. Got the flowers around him. This is a cute card. I think this is adorable. I wouldn't mind cracking into one of these little Eevees myself. Next up, Blood Moon Ursa Luna. This thing is the opposite of adorable. Absolutely ferocious. I love this artwork. This design is so cool. Like the clouds, the texturing, the moon in the back, dude. This thing's going hard. I love it. I love it. I just can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it in person. It is going to shine. I already know. I just already know. A lot of other trainers. Nice looking trainer. Look at this dude's brows. Looking pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, Rick from Rick and Morty. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting... Morty. We got to go, Morty. I don't know. I'm just getting Rick Sanchez vibes from this guy. I love these eyebrows. There we go. We got friends in Paldea. We got a little shoddy. We got a dude in suit. Kid number one. And of course... 
man number three. Uh, you can't forget about kid number two as well, but you know what we're really here for is this beauty right here. Look at this beautiful little Umbreon. I mean, just look at this Umbreon right here, Umbreon EX, sitting on a little puff, sitting on a little tough. I don't know what it's sitting on, but surrounded by clouds, surrounded by ornamentation. This thing looks super clean. I'm loving the terrestrialized look, loving the crown. I think this is maybe one of the top contenders for our number one position. All right, yeah, God Packs have been verified in the set. They have been confirmed here. So if we look, we do see, ooh, Glaceon. We got the Eevee next. Flareon, Espeon, Jolteon, Leafeon. And Umbreon, okay, and okay, absolutely beautiful stuff here today. These cards are looking absolutely nice, but uh, let me know what are you guys excited for out of this new set, Terrastal Festival? I can't wait to crack some open on the channel. I will leave my whatnot and my Patreon down in the description. Feel free to support the channel any way you like. That's going to be just about it for today, guys. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified for future videos, and stick around on the channel with some of these fine videos here. And I'll see you next time. Peace, peace, peace.